many years ago. There lived an Arab ruler named Mardash who had a son with the name of Zahak. Zahak was a really nice person until Devil, the evil spirit, persuaded him to kill his father. After Mardash's death, Zahak became ruler. Devil once again appeared to him as a cook and made delicious meals for him. Zahak asked Devil what he wants as his prize for the wonderful meals he had prepared. Devil just asked Zahak to kiss his shoulders. After Devil kissed Zahak's shoulders, he disappeared, but suddenly two vicious black snakes grew from Zahak's shoulders. Zahak was terrified and didn't know what to do with the snakes. Devil once again appeared to him as a physician. He told Zahak that the only way to control the snakes is to feed them human brain every day, otherwise the snakes would eat Zahak himself. So Zahak started killing young men and feeding their brains to the evil snakes. Meanwhile, he decided to wage a war against Jamshid, the ruler of the world. Zahak gathered a huge army and defeated Jomashid in a fierce battle. After killing Jamshid, Zahak became the ruler of the world and took Jamshid's daughters, Arnavaz and Shardarnavaz, as his slaves. Zahak's tyranny lasted for many years until one day he saw a horrible dream. He called the dream readers who told him someone named Feriadun will eventually defeat him. Zaha got frightened and searched for Feriadun everywhere until he was told that Feriadun was just a boy living in the Alborz Mountains. Zaha made several attempts to find Feriadun but couldn't find him anywhere. Years passed and one day a blacksmith named Kave came to Zaha's court. Kave told Zaha that he had 18 sons and all but one had been given to the snakes. Zahak forgave Kave's last son, but asked Kave to sign a petition telling everyone how righteous and forgiving he was. Kave knew Zahak was lying, so he refused to sign his letter. Instead, he tore it up to pieces, ran out of the royal court, and raised his blacksmith apron as a standard of rebellion. He called on everyone to support him in finding Feriadun. People named Kaveh's apron darash e Kaviani, which means Kaveh's flag banner. Many people followed Kaveh to the Alborz Mountains to help him find Feriadun. After much searching, they found the young Feriadun who agreed to destroy Zahak. In a battle, Feriadun captured Zahak and imprisoned him in a cave in Mount Damavand. He then freed Jamshid's two daughters and brought freedom and happiness to Iran.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.